Hi everyone, it's Beverly Cole, and here I am in my empty studio. Can you believe it? We've moved our day bed into here because the lady that's renting our house wants to use this room. The closet is empty. If you've seen videos of my studio, you know I was in here. The color of these walls is called lip balm. <laughs> Yeah, it's empty. I am so sorry I've been gone, but a lot has been happening in my life. We are moving into our RV full time, and I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, we have our summer planned. We're gonna be work camping in Maine. Uh, how do you like my new glasses? They actually are, pro are the ones that change, not progressives, but you know, the ones that turn into sunglasses outside. So let me stand over here in the window. Maybe they'll get darker. So the table's here. We have a man coming that's going to take some of the furniture because he is someone who shares it with people that need it. So that's a good thing. We've been in this house for 13 years and when we moved to Florida, we didn't have anything with us, just a little tiny tow behind U-Haul uh, trailer. And then we started collecting things and it's been three years in another house. Then we moved into this one. So yeah, like 15 years, 16 years worth of stuff. So this is the storage room. Let me turn this around so you can see. TV, gonna give it away. This was our office but I was in this room at one point as my studio. It's smaller, so I understand why the lady that's renting our house would want the bigger room. There's all kinds of stuff in here and it's gonna be packed with stuff. I just know it is because we have to take everything that we wanna keep. We have to put it in this room or George will have some things that he can lock in the garage. Other than that, look here, there's my dresser that I used to have in my studio downtown in Leesburg, Florida. And then it was in my bedroom. That's my signature orange rose. <laughs> Things that I've been packing up to teach classes. I have a couple more to teach. Here's JJ, he wants to go outside. So this opens up to the lanai. Let's see if I can maneuver this so he can go out. There you go, buddy. There you go. Do you wanna go out or not? <laughs> this is stuff that goes in the RV. Cat tube we're leaving for our renter and her one cat. You know, we've never rented our house out before. And right here, <laughs> this is what it has come to. Underneath the table is all the stuff that I have that I want to bring to our Fine Arts Festival, which is in a couple of weeks. So I have all these paintings just sitting here. Everything under the table I gotta cover because the cat's litter box is out here and it makes dust. No matter what you do, it makes dust. Everything has to be covered. Some paintings that I'm working on, I'm finishing, getting ready for the Fine Art Festival. You can see that one. This little collage. And a lot of these are in videos right here on my channel. This one everyone loves. I don't know why, maybe because I put on my bucket list and it shows piles of reading material in a basement or something. And I think people just really liked that. This one I think I'm gonna be using to teach my collage class that's coming up. But before I do the collage class, I need stuff for pastel and smarty pants that I am not. I told people that we are gonna do um, um, Still life. Oh, gosh. Still life. So, still life. <coughs> I've been looking for things, but I got rid of so much stuff. I used to sell on eBay, so I had a lot of knickknacks and stuff like that. But then we started getting rid of things because we're, you know, moving out of here. And I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to find stuff for my <laughs> still life? So, yeah, this is pretty much what I've come down to. Not much. And so and then I was like, geez. I looked at a video and it said to use things that are, you know, basic shapes. So then I thought, well, basic shapes, okay. But then I thought I need something to drape around everything because draped fabric is really fun to, to draw in soft pastels and that's what the class is gonna be. And then I remembered, oh yeah. 
I have a whole suitcase full of fabric. So let's pull it out. I got this old suitcase once at a yard sale for nothing. And I just love it because it's so old. Isn't it cool? I mean, it's a little messed up. But then of course I thought I was gonna cover it with, you know, collage, which never happened. Let's put it up on the table. Oh, wow. Look at all the fabric. Yipesy. Well, you know, I've already packed a lot of the things I used to put my camera on, so I'm holding the camera this time. This is old, close to my heart fabric that they had one time to match paper, so I have that, but those are little pieces. I've got some beautiful things. I mean, look at this. I'm gonna have to use some of these to make something. Oh, you know, you put something away and then you forget what you have. Now this stuff here, I don't think I'm even gonna keep. It's pieces of the furniture covers from my RV that I cut to fit. And I think we're gonna trash those, yeah. Then I have pieces of fabric left from when I made my granddaughter some dolls. You know, the ones that topsy-turvy ones where they're sleeping and they're awake. And then some lace, look at all the lace. Look at the lace. All right, so then I have some burlap. Sure, I'm gonna keep this either, but you know, might as well. It's in here, right? And it's not like I have too much. Then I have this tablecloth. I think it's a tablecloth. I don't know. It's a piece of fabric that might work. Let's see. Hmm. Other things. You know, they're just things I pick up along the way, and I have a hard time partying with any of them because that's just how I am. So, oh, extra fabric for when I made pillows and curtains baby fabric from making stockings and handkerchiefs more Christmas fabric and then I have the super soft stuff that I got to make the top part the cuffs on the um ooh, that's so soft on the stockings those may be really nice uh, fabric covers for some journals or something and this stuff I got yeah at a thrift store piece of faux leather so I think let's just take that's so big I have a smaller piece what is this hmm. what is that is that something I could use I think I like this one the fabric the design on this so I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna drape it with my thing for my soft pastel still life so I set my camera up here so that you guys could see what I'm doing. Let's hope that it works. So I had this picnic basket and I thought, why not bring it? Because it can hold a lot of stuff and then I can use it in the middle to drape the fabric over. So I'm gonna drape the fabric. And I thought it was folded, but I think it's just thick. Yeah, it's like a blanket. I'm not sure this is gonna work, but we'll see. Okay, so on this side I have these. Now that I'm looking through here, this should be in the middle, I think. Let me sit down. <laughs> These could be here. And then maybe this square thing in the middle. Like that. Just a, you know, it's just going to be a real simple practice of still life. So that would work. Should we put another one in there? No, because then it's just, or we could have one like this and then one like this, right? That's cool. Okay, I'm going to do it that way. And then on this side, I got this big bowl, my big pampered stuff bowl. I think I'm going to go and get some fruit and do it. Let me sit down again. Okay, all right. So on this one, I'm going to pull this over to here this look interesting there we go and then maybe a, maybe I could get a spoon there bowl and I need something taller a 
I put the oat container here and I'm telling like a story, I think. I'm not quite sure I even need this background, but whatever. The big bowl, I'm gonna put fruit in, in here. And then the coffee cup is gonna be like breakfast time, right? You have coffee, maybe I'll put a spoon in there. They can write oats on it if they want, they can leave it plain, I don't really care. So that's good from one side of the table. I don't know about the cloth. I'm thinking, let's remove the cloth. Yeah, I like it better already. I don't even know if I need anything in the middle, but you know, it's just to give them a background so they don't, you know, just do this. Put some fruit, basket can be there. Someone's sitting over here. They still have the view of the bowl and the basket and the shadows. I'm, I'm on a office chair. <laughs> uh, we have like, oh my gosh, such a mishmash, mishmash of things. So I don't know if I want this little bowl in that or not. I'll have to think about that. No. But then we can travel over to here, right? And someone's sitting here. They would have this they could paint or draw. And then over here, you know, we have flower pot and this one. I love this one. I think I'm good on both sides. I think sitting on one side or the other will work. So I think that's enough for today. And I'm not going to worry about that clone.